Hello, in this video we're going to do a very simple proof. We're going to prove that a certain function is a group homomorphism. So recall a function f from a group G into a group H is a group homomorphism if it has the property that for all x, y in your group G, when you look at f of the product of x and y, so f of xy, that's equal to another product, which is f of x times f of y. So the multiplication is preserved. When you have multiplication in g, right, this multiplication is happening in g, it corresponds to multiplication in h in a very cool way, right? It's f of xy is equal to f of x times f of y. And so in this particular example, we're going to prove that f of x equals e to the x is a group homomorphism. So what's all this? This is just the notation for the function. So the domain is the set of reals, uh, that's R, and the plus indicates that this is a group under addition. So the real numbers do form a group under addition. The codomain is the set of positive reals, that's what the little plus means here on top of the R, and this is a group under multiplication. So we're looking at a map or a function from the real numbers under addition, which is a group, into the positive reals under multiplication, which is a group. And our function is defined by f of x equals e to the x. And we're gonna prove that this is a group homomorphism. This is a really simple proof, but it's kind of fun, so proof. And if you've never seen this, maybe you'll learn something, even if you learn one thing, that's success. So, to start our proof, we basically just, to do the proof, we basically just have to use this definition here. So let's start by saying for all x, y, n, uh, r, right, because that's our domain, that's our g, is r. The reason I have the parentheses and the plus here is because we're being extra descriptive, we're specifying the operation. And the reason we do that is, um, it's helpful, and also a lot of times you can form a group using multiple operations on the same set, so it's beneficial to write it that way. So now we're going to look at f of xy, except it's not f of xy, and the reason is this is additive, okay? The, the operation is addition here, so it's actually f of x plus y, okay? If you want the additive version of this, it would be f of x plus y, equal to f of x plus f of y. This is assuming that um, the operation in G is addition and the operation in H is also addition, right? So here, the operation is addition in R. So this is equal to, well, let's see, f of x is e to the x, so this is e to the x plus y. And now we can use uh, properties of exponents. This is e to the x, times e to the y. Very, very powerful stuff there. Simple and basic, but very powerful. And then we know something about e to the x, that's equal to f of x. And we know something about e to the y, it's equal to f of y. And this makes sense, right? Here the operation is multiplication, right? So it's multiplication. So here it's addition, here it's multiplication. So you have to adjust uh, the notation accordingly. So we have that for all x, y, and r, f of x plus y is equal to f of x times f of y. So this shows that f is a group homomorphism. So f is a group homomorphism. Homomorphism. Now let's talk about the notation a little bit more because um, sometimes people get confused and it's important to understand it. So in the first definition I gave you here, we're assuming that um, the operation is multiplication in G and in H. This is the standard way to do it. Most of the time, this is how you write it and this is how you see it in textbooks. Here I gave you the case where the operation in G and in H are both addition. In our particular example, the operation in G, right, this is our G, uh, is addition, and the operation in H is multiplication. That's why it's a little bit different over here. So this is, um, in R plus under multiplication. And over here, this is in R under addition. So the operation changes right here. It's addition on the set of reals, and here it's multiplication on the set of positive reals. So 
yeah, hopefully this video has taught you some mathematics. Until next time, good luck.